Hi friends, I want to thank you for, for being a member of my Facebook group. So I've got the Success Brian Crypto News Group. And that's been my main group that I started a while back. And just within the last couple of weeks, maybe couple last couple of days, I've started a couple of other groups. And the big groups that I've recently started is a Robin Hood, Webull, and uh, Public Stock and Crypto Traders Group. So Robin Hood, Webull, and Public are three apps. I know they're available in the United States. I'm not sure if they're available in other countries. But three apps that you can trade stocks and crypto for free. And mainly the reason why I just recently added Public, it's kind of a newer one, is that Public has... Uh, brought on board Shiba Inu, but in addition to Shiba Inu, they've also brought on board Cardano, Solana, and several other really good stocks. They have, or cryptos. They've actually now have 21 cryptos that you can trade, um, and I've just joined it. I'm just getting familiar with the app, so I don't know a whole lot about it yet, but I've created a group specifically for people who are interested in those three apps and other apps like maybe Coinbase, and other programs that are real similar or real easy for new people to start start you know getting in, into crypto. So, um, but as but with the Robinhood and the Webull and the public, in addition to crypto, they also do stocks. So I'm going to cover some of the strategies related to stocks and options that um, that can be done with those apps. So um, so I've got that group. So if you're if you're able. To get involved with those apps, uh, mainly I think it's the United States. It, it might be a few other countries. I'm not entirely sure which countries are able to get into those apps. But definitely feel free to, to join that group. Um, because I've got Robinhood, Webull, and Public in the name of the group, I'm thinking I might get... And I'm, I'm, creating, a, I'm creating it as a public group, not a private group. So I'm with, the, with those names out there, I think I'm going to get some attraction of some people who I haven't previously had reached to meeting before and inviting that will come in because the name, you know, the, the popular names are associated with that with that group. Um, I'm also starting a Shiba Inu, Saitama, Zombie Inu, and Safe Moon Investors group. So um, it's just those four specific coins. Shiba Inu, Saitama, Zombie Inu, and Safe Moon. So that is not a group where I'm saying, oh, let's talk about all tons of all kinds of coins. Um, right now, with what I'm doing in my strategy, as far as what these coins, I'm going to call them community coins. Okay? Not meme coins, but community coins. I, I believe there's a big difference between what is considered a meme coin and what is considered a community coin. And not all meme coins are community coins. You can't just, you can't just, uh, you know, you can't just assume that because it's a meme coin, it's a community coin. Community coin, I believe, is a special category of coins that have strong enough communities that they actually start getting listed on major exchanges. Okay? And we're talking, you know, big major exchanges like Coinbase, Binance, um, KuCoin, um, you know, some very, the well-known major exchanges. And then, of course, eventually, you know, like Shiba Inu, it gets listed on Webull and Public and hopefully Robinhood and, and other uh, big exchanges like that as well. Um, so, so that is a group I've decided to go with. And again, I have the Shiba Inu, Saitama, Zombie Inu, and Safe Moon in the name. So I believe that's also going to attract people um, who do searches for groups, trying to look for people to, to associate with. I believe that's going to find people that I previously didn't know. Um, you know, so that could be a way that, you know, the reach that I've been able to build on social media is going to expand. Um, so, th so those are the main three groups right now. I, I do have a couple other that I'm, I'm putting on a list, um, for launching in the future, but I decided to go ahead and, and really get the, the Saitama, the Shiba Inu, Saitama, Zombie Inu group going right now because, um, I believe there's continued interest in the Shiba Inu coin. I've gotten involved in a lot of groups related to Shiba Inu 
that are out there previously to launching my own group. And there's just a whole lot of, what I'm finding out there is, number one, there's a whole lot of spam. Okay, whenever, it seems like whenever you either go on Twitter or YouTube or, you know, Facebook groups and you're talking about crypto, it just seems like you open yourself up to an immense amount of spam. So I'm going to really work hard to, as best I can, I'm only one guy, I'm going to work as hard as I can to try to limit that spam. So um, basically, you know, so I'm going to fight really hard against spam, try to keep the group as limited as possible. As far as building my groups, the main Success Brian Crypto News Group, and I'm, I'm thinking about changing the name slightly to be to calling it Success Brian's Crypto and Metaverse News. I think if I add Metaverse to the title, I think I might be able to take this group and be able to reach it out and expand it a little further. I, I kind of have the feeling maybe people are going to start looking for Metaverse crypto topics. Um, but as far as building the future of the group, and, and when I go out there and I, I promote, when I do videos and, and everything I do, I'm going to promote initially that group as my main group. So there's probably going to start being a lot of people in this group that I, I know them lesser and lesser. So I don't know, um, you know, what kind of people I could possibly have some dangerous people come, come in there. Um, so I'm going to be working as hard as I can to try to weed everything out as much as possible and just keep, I don't necessarily want the world's hugest group. I want people who really like the content that I produce, understand me, ask good questions, you know, don't, are not, hopefully not wasting my time. I'm not, you know, so basically I'm, I'm trying to develop a close group of people I can associate with on a regular basis. And, um, I just believe that if if there's people I, I go out there and I can communicate with on a regular basis and we can, okay, they say, hey, I made money in this coin. You know, it doesn't have, necessarily have to be this way, but this is just one example. I made money on this coin, um, you know, and they're just kind of telling me and telling the group what's working for them and we're all kind of learning together. Basically, the idea of all of us doing this and learning together and keeping at it at a regular basis is kind of what I'm looking for. Um, there, you know, I, I'm not trying to jump into billions and billions of coins. I'm really trying to keep it to, um, just a couple exchanges maybe and a couple coins because if the market starts going crazy, you know, and I, I don't want to be like, like in a coin that all of a sudden the community and everything just totally sort of totally fell out and now I have you know maybe let's say a thousand dollars that I've invested in this coin and it's basically going to be money lost I, I don't I can't afford really to lose money right now and, and maybe there's a lot of people in that boat um, so as far as new coins okay and right now I've just got the Shiba Inu, Saitama, Zombie Inu, and Safe Moon. And I've got Safe Moon on there. BitBoy Crypto recently said several times in several recent videos, he said that Safe Moon is a scam. And it's that's kind of got me concerned. Um, I have I've have not seen anybody else say that it's a scam necessarily. And I've generally enjoyed it. Um, although I have Safe Moon is one that I have not found somebody who consistently gives good content on it. Now, I might go out there and try again to see if I can find people who do that, but um, I have found this guy, Austin Hilton, who is very, very consistent in delivering YouTube content related to Shiba Inu. And he has promoted some other coins. Okay, he talks about Do Dogecoin a lot, and I am not a Dogecoin fan. Okay, I, I have like four Dogecoin. <laughs> You know, it's like a buck, it's like a dollar to have four four Doge coins. But I, I have those four Doge coins because I've purchased food at Burger King, and right now when you buy food at Burger King, you're, you're, you're they're basically giving you a Doge coin uh, throughout the month of November every time you order at least five dollars of food with them. Um, so that's the only reason I have those coins, um, and I'm for now just kind of hanging on to them. I I don't see Doge doing anything dramatic and I'm not 
expecting it to. In fact, I kind of feel it might even fall. So, um, but I just, ha I have them in there mainly because uh, maybe I, every once in a while I might want to show somebody I have a little bit of Doge, you know, and hoping that'll make some friends with some people. If, if uh, you know, like a bargaining chip to make some friends with some people, um, rather than, you know, not having that opportunity to make friends with people. I, I don't know if it's going to work out for anything positive, but it's only a buck, so it's not going to, either way, it's probably not going to change my life. Um, okay, so I did meet this guy, Austin, and he's got good, great content about Shiba Inu, Saitama, and another coin, new coin called Zombie Inu, okay? So Zombie Inu right now still does have seven zeros before the first number, and I don't know what place that is, but when I first discovered Shiba Inu, I believe it only had six zeros. Right now, Shiba Inu has four zeros in front of it. So while I have been involved in the process of learning about Shiba Inu and purchasing it and so forth and learning more about it and, and being involved with Austin and the community he has built around Shiba Inu, I have seen two zeros drop off. Okay? And the people who were able to discover Shiba Inu when it had seven zeros are the ones who have a lot of money right now. Okay? So... And, I, and I'm not looking for every coin out there that has seven zeros, okay? That's not that's not a that's not something I'm saying. Okay, this is something to look for. Look for coins with seven zeros, but you want to look for specific coins. And what Austin has done is he has teamed up with Jake Gagan, Zach Humphreys, and and Your Pop. I don't know what the guy's name is, but he calls himself Your Pop on on YouTube. Those four guys have pooled their money together. They've hired a team to go out and vet all these new coins, and the only coin recently that has passed this team with flying colors is Zombie Inu. So I'm only going to be picking from coins right now that these four guys unanimously decide to promote together. Because when the four of them work together, they build an amazing community around these coins. And like I said before, community coins is something that I feel is stronger than just a meme coin, okay? So they might start, something might start out as a meme coin, but then it kind of develops into a community coin, and I believe that makes it stronger. Um, because the truth is we're going into a bear market eventually, okay? All this excitement that's that's in crypto right now, whether, whether that happens in during Christmas or sometime, you know, maybe March of 2022, we're eventually going to be into a bear market. And this money that's flowing into crypto right now, especially from a retail standpoint, is going to not be there, okay? Because all the hype and the media attention and everything that drives all that retail is is going to die down. So um, it's it's crypto is possibly going to get boring, okay? But I do think that we're kind of in a unique situation where we do have some technologies and some things that are booming, like gaming. Um, I think as crypto games get better and better, especially the play-to-earn games and, and games that people just play for fun, um, those are starting to get involved in crypto. And um, I think that it's not going to be every single gaming coin. It's going to be a few that will probably rise up and become strong. We don't know what those are right now. Okay, so we're just going to keep kind of paying attention to what happens. I don't know if Austin's going to get involved in that, but but uh, there are a few people that I'm kind of also paying attention to on YouTube who might be strong champions in the gaming crypto world, and I'll get some, you know, get some information from them. And, and especially when I find out who it is and who's strong in those areas, I will share those here in this Facebook group. So, um... So I'm, I just want you to know I'm not going to be jumping into like coin of the week kind of thing. I'm really looking to build stronger influence in Shiba Inu, Saitama, Zombie Inu, and I'm a safe moon I kind of have on there. I'm going to be doing some deep investigation into safe moon as to whether it, it deserves to stay on that group or not. 
But um, Saitama and Zombie Inu, both of those coins. One of the one of the big reasons I liked Safe Moon. I didn't like this at first. It took it kind of. I actually hated it at first. But Safe Moon, when people buy or sell at every transaction, they have something called reflections. Part of that transaction amount is what they call taxed. Okay, and then. Um, so I believe it's 10% is taxed and 5%, this is, I'm specifically talking about Safe Moon right now, 10% is taxed and then 5% is redistributed back to all the holders. And they call that a reflection. So Safe Moon was one of the biggest coins that kind of really got this whole reflections concept going, as far as I know. Um, but Saitama and Zombie Inu, both of those coins actually have reflections. Now, Saitama is only 2% reflections, okay, and Zombie Inu is only 1% reflections, okay, so they're not, they're not as high of a reflection um, situation as Safe Moon, but if, you know, and I can't promise you that I'm going to find out that Safe Moon, you know, is a scam like BitBoy says, but I'm going to definitely do some research, I'm going to try to figure out exactly what the details are related to that. And um, so I'm probably not, I'm not investing money into Safe Moon right now. I'm going to be putting the money into Shiba Inu, Saitama, and Zami Inu. And, um, you know, I don't have tons of money. I'm not a millionaire or anything by any stretch. Um, so I don't have money to be putting into a lot of coins. Now, Crypto Banter is somebody on YouTube that I recommend everybody to follow. They've they've put out a, some really good videos recently. I posted a link to the Solana conference video that Crypto Banter did, and it's pretty good. Um, Rand also did a video where he explained how he turned $30,000 into $30 million, okay? And that video is kind of an eye-opener to me, I am actually probably going to do a video response, either a video or a written response, I, or maybe both, um, related to that specific article, or to that specific video he did, because it, in a way it sort of contradicts a little bit some of the training he's given, <coughs> because he, oh, excuse me, he gave, he gave some training about... Um, like how you want to structure your portfolio for, for saving, for making the money and then keeping it long term. And he said you should only put 15% into what, what he calls a DGEN portfolio. And then he wants you to hold 50% into the top coins, you know. So you're, you, you know, like your, Bit, your Bitcoin, Cardano, Solana, those are my three favorite coins. Um, he wants you to have. 50% of your money in those three coins right there. Now, those coins, although they probably will be very solid and consistent over time, they're not going to turn you... I mean, I, I, you know, unless you were maybe like an exceptionally great trader where you're always nailing the lows, you know, as you buy in on the lows and sell on the tops, as it progresses through the market, through all cycles, you're constantly nailing those with perfection. And then you're putting your money in and you're also getting staking rewards and just basically maximizing everything you can. You know, you might be able to turn tens of thousands of dollars into hundreds of thousands of dollars, but I don't know if, you know, I'm pretty sure you probably won't get into the millions. And most of us in crypto are wanting to, I'm sure, wanting to get into the millions. Okay. So um, while I do believe he's right in that you will protect your money and save your money with that strategy. That's not the strategy. The way he described how he took $30,000 and turned it into $30 million is not that strategy. So what I'm trying to say is his training is probably sound, okay, but that's not how he became a millionaire. So how he became a millionaire is he took coins that – were basically what what we would consider degen coins today. They're the ones that are just basically just getting launched, okay, and have a, have a great idea. Now I don't know if he had some exceptional um, 
way of knowing that, say, for example, one of those coins that made him a lot of money was Binance coin. And I don't know, you know, if, if he had some foreknowledge. When Bi Binance coin first launched, it was just going to be a coin that worked just with the Binance exchange. It wasn't going to be the, the Binance smart chain. I, I think it's because of the Binance smart chain is what made Binance coin popular today. And I don't think that that was when it initially launched. That was part of what everybody knew. I think it evolved into that. Um, so I don't know if if Ran like had some kind of amazing knowledge. Like when he looked at a thousand coins and he was able to say these three are the ones that are going to boom and go to the top. I don't know if he had that that kind of knowledge or if he just had enough money where he was able to put his money into twenty or thirty different coins and fortunately. Three or four of them, you know, made millions for him. So I, I don't specifically know that angle. But he definitely put, he said, $5,000. It seemed like $5,000 was like a, a reoccurring theme in his investing strategy. And he was getting, you know, anywhere from 10000 to to 100000 coins every time he put that $5,000 in. So the prices were very, very low. Okay, so where he was able to get tens of thousands of coins, okay, and and right now with some of these coins, like right now if you put $150 into Zombie Inu, you can get 2 trillion coins. Now that's been the case for the past couple days. Today, I tried that same strategy of seeing how much I could get, and it was only like a trillion coins. So the price has jumped up enough on the graph to... Uh, you know, to make it so where I'm, you're getting fewer coins. Um, but the problem is, is that ETH um, gas fee is just too high right now. I, um, I don't know how low I have to, I've been trying to play with the thing, trying to figure out how low I've got to go. I The last one I tried was 2 billion coins. So like with the amount of ETH that I have, I was able to get 2 trillion coins, but I didn't have enough to pay the gas fee. Okay, so that's why I don't own the coins right now. So I've been trying to lower that amount, and the lowest I bid was 2 billion coins, okay? Which is 2 billion from 2 trillion is quite a big drop down. But I still didn't have enough gas fees to even pay the to get to get the 2 billion coins. So um, so I still don't own any zombie Inu because of that. So um, I'm just hoping something positive comes up. I don't know what yet, but I'm hoping something positive comes up in that respect. But but basically, the four guys, that's a big thing I want you to learn from today, is, is I pay attention to them, and when they are unanimous on something is the only, only way I would even be interested initially. But I'm, even if they jump, they have, there, ha, there have been a few coins that the four of them, or at least Austin, has promoted, and I have not jumped on. Okay, and um, I don't know what the case is. The ones I haven't jumped in, maybe he's not going to be serious about. Um, but I know the ones that have really kind of grabbed my inner heart strings and all that are the Shiba Inu, Saitama, and Zombie Inu. And then I'm still kind of holding out on Safe Moon to see where that goes. So those are the groups that I'm doing. I'm initially bringing people into this main group, Success Brian's Crypto and Metaverse News. And uh, so I believe I'm going to be changing the name to Success Brian's Crypto and Metaverse News. And then, so I'll, everything I do, I'm going to be doing a lot more things, email, social media, videos, and and driving people into this group. And then once they're in this group, um, kind of hopefully get to know them a little bit and then slowly letting them know, slowly or quickly letting them know that I have other groups and other things. Um, so I, I kind of do that in a, in a way also that like if somebody is not necessarily wanting to know about Shiba Inu, I won't post the Shiba Inu information into this group. I'm going to be only posting the Shiba Inu information into the group that's specifically for Shiba Inu. So I'm kind of trying to manage the content and, and, and hopefully also keep the activity and the engagement driven up as well. So um, I'm not sure if I've answered all the questions that people have been talking about recently. I'm just going to skip game through here somebody asked about end of year run so that's kind of to, to my um 
the way I look at it is, is maybe asking like when, when the bear market or when the bull market's going to be over and the bear market's going to start. So I follow crypto banter and also BitBoy crypto and some other channels for information regarding that. And there's been kind of a mixed consensus. Some people say one thing, some people say another, but <clears throat> what most people seem to be saying is that Bitcoin is going to have uh, moments where it drives the price drives up very quickly, and then the price within a day or two might drop suddenly. Okay, so I, I'm not going to get involved in like exact price numbers and so forth, um, but uh, it sounds like you know uh, Bitcoin's going to drive up and then drop. And then when it drops, the money's going into altcoins. So then there's going to be like these altcoin pumps. Okay. And right now with altcoins, it's been just the major coins. There's only, there's like Shiba Inu has gone up and a few other coins have gone up. But the smaller cap, and I'm, you know, you can't really call Shiba Inu a small cap anymore. But um, most of the smaller caps, real super small cap altcoins have not had very many pumps it's been you know kind of um and i'm not sure exactly where the dollar amounts are on the on the uh market caps but you, you know your solanas and the polka dots and the Car cardano hasn't moved much but uh coins like that are the ones that have gotten the majority of the pumps recently and as you get lower down the market caps it's been less and less and less and that's been kind of odd because in previous uh, bull cycles, it started out with those coins and then it went down the line all the way to the bottom of the spectrum, which it has not gone. It stopped somewhere in the middle this time. And then all of a sudden, Bitcoin would do something strange and it would be like the whole thing reset. So it seems like it's just going to be this like strange thing where Bitcoin does a reset and then it starts again with the altcoins, but then it stops, and then Bitcoin does a, 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 a weird thing again. So I guess the question is, is how long is that kind of cycle going to keep happening? And some people say it's going to be over by Christmas, and some people say it's going to go all the way to March 2022. So I don't know for sure, okay? Nobody knows. Nobody honestly knows. But I watch... Um, Crypto banter is what I'm going to say. My favorite one. If if you, if if you can only follow one, follow crypto banter. If you can follow more, follow Bitboy. Um, but do try to be. What's the right word? Critical, maybe. Critical on what everybody says, even what I say. Make sure that you can kind of see it from a whole big big picture range, maybe, because. Um, even though somebody says something, it it's definitely not a promise. Um, you know, they, they don't they don't have a crystal ball. They can't they can't see perfectly the future. They don't know exactly what's going to happen. It's just they feel that based on what they know and what they're reading and researching and all that, that's what they feel is, is going to happen. Um, and that's kind of you know that's that's all we're doing is we don't we can only go by what we feel is the best information that we have. Um, but be, you know, be ready for anything. So kind of, you know, I'm, I'm going to, what I'm going to be doing, okay, is I'm going to be trying to build like my $5,000 investment into a few coins I feel have potential to, uh, so what it is, let me, let me re-go over that strategy so I don't think I covered it as strongly as, as I intended to, is, uh, and I'm going to be doing more videos on this, but basically finding coins, for example, Shiba Inu, and Shiba Inu, I, I don't think is going to, you know, like 10x or 100x. Um, it might, it might three or four x, you know. So kind of keep that in mind. It's, you know, it's already got a big market cap. It's like 11th on the top, and and I feel, I feel, Shiba Inu is going to get back in the top 10. Okay, so it might, it might get to 60. Okay, so it might 2x. Okay, 60 billion market cap would be a 2x for Shiba Inu. Um, and that might make it, you know, seventh place maybe. I'm not sure exactly where on the list. But it, it's going to get somewhere in the top 10. It's going to get back above Dogecoin. And then as other coins grow um, and get into the top 10, 
I, I believe Dogecoin is eventually going to be pushed out of the top 10, you know, into 11th to 14th place somewhere. But, um, and I'm not saying that it's going to even drop in price. It doesn't have to drop in price to do that. If, if the, the, the list, the ranking is based on market caps, okay? So if other coins become more popular and more people come in and buy the coin and the price drives up, it's also driving up the market cap while that's happening. So Dogecoin could sit at 29 cents or whatever it is, 27 cents. It could sit there, okay, and not move up or down, just sit horizontally and still fall out of the top 10 because other coins are gaining, you know, momentum above and, and, and built, becoming stronger than, than Dogecoin. So I, I believe Shiba will get back solidly in the 10th place or, or in the top 10 somewhere. I don't think it's going to become above number five. It's going to be somewhere 10, 9, 8, 7, or 6. It's going to be in one of those spots. Um but it's going to be solidly there, and then it's going to get the respect that hey, it's here, it's in the top ten. You know, we gotta, we gotta figure out what you know, the, the gurus in the industry are going to have to figure out how they, how they uh, are going to you know react and and move forward based on seeing that it has that staying power to be in the top ten. But that might only two extra money, okay? So don't be throwing if if you don't have any if you have Shiba, hang on to it. And I'm going to be looking for ways to maximize, you know, as far as staking and other things we can do to maximize our our income off of the whole the holdings that we do have. But if you don't have a whole lot, if you have just a few hundred dollars or or whatever the case may be, set a goal for yourself. Bring it up to a little bit. Maybe maybe you know maybe, I don't know. You know, some people have a lot of money, and five thousand to them is is less than five thousand to me. But you know. Uh, Shiba Inu doesn't have 10x or definitely not 100x potential, at least right now, unless several things start working dynamically for them. Um, but something like Saitama and uh, Zombie Inu, if we're able to develop strong communities with those coins... Those are coins where you could put five thousand dollars into, and if you put five thousand into, you're going to have billions, if not trillions. I don't know if you can still get trillions of coins with Saitama, but definitely with Zombie Inu, you can get at this point you can get trillions of coins. And if the community grows and things happen as far as games or metaverse or whatever is going on with these coins, um. If those things keep going in a favorable direction, favor, favorable direction with the community continuing to get stronger and stronger, um, you know that's a coin that you can take that five thousand dollar investment, and it can become, you know, ideally close to millions of dollars. Okay, it's a big if. It's not a promise. Okay, so what we're going to do do is we're just going to be paying paying attention and sharing the news day after day as things keep going on. So that's with that, that's going on. So I'm only going to be talking about Shiba Inu, Saitama, and Zombie Inu, and, and Safe Moon. Very little in this group. The, so I want you, if you're interested in those coins, I want you to either request me, I can send you an invite, or, or find the link. I've got the link posted in many places. Find the link and actually join that group. Okay, so I'm not out there. I am personally not going to be out there um, inviting dozens, you know, hundreds to dozens of people into the group like I do with this main group um, because I, I want to keep it for people who are, are mainly seriously interested in those coins, okay? And, um, and then we'll go from there. And I think, so hopefully, hopefully you've gotten a little bit of understanding about this investment strategy of... I've tried to talk about how Rand took thirty thousand dollars. You're not going to know everything because you're going to probably have to watch his video to understand more of it. But taking uh, five thousand or ten thousand, no, he said he took ten uh, thirty thousand dollars and turned it into thirty million, is what he's claiming. Okay, so that means six coins, five thousand dollars into each of six coins is thirty thousand dollars. Those six coins brought him above thirty million dollars in over in three years. Okay, so what that was is I, 
is like Cardano, I don't think is one of the coins he's talking about specifically, but Cardano like came to be, I don't know the exact year, but let's just say it was like around 2015. So that means it's like a six year old coin. Okay. So it's been through a couple market cycles, four, complete four year market cycles. Um, the coins that Rand is holding that have made him millions of dollars, he has held, they, they were not from this bull run, they were from the 2017 bull run, okay? And he bought into them then and then held them through this bull run, okay? So as we pick coins now, okay, that are little coins, degen coins, okay, and hopefully find the best of the best, that's the goal, build up, you know, $5,000 investments in those coins, and then we got to hold them into, like, 2025, okay? So it's not it's not an overnight sensation, but hopefully some of those coins that we pick right now and build an investment in will, be, will drive us to become a millionaire, by 2025 so it's not an overnight thing it is still a marathon you know we have to be prepared for the long haul so just want to let you know that hopefully this has been a really good video for you um i'm sure you have questions feel free to ask the questions and i can point you to the information that has gotten me to understanding what i understand right now and have said in this video and we'll move forward and we'll grow so Thank you so much. Hopefully you've uh, learned a lot from this video and we'll have a great time together and I'll see you in the next video.